Hi there everybody, it is Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com and today I'm going to be starting a series five for five dollars. These are Christmas snow ornaments. Boop, if you'd like to make them boop. Okay, one more boop. Boop, if you would like to make them just stick around. All right, you know what? Sometimes I shouldn't be allowed to do this for a job. I have so much fun. As always, please like this video so that I know you're here crafting. If you're new, please subscribe. We do a lot of fun stuff. You can see here, this is a jingling um, package tie. I am making a very lightweight gnome out of these same materials. And this is probably my favorite of this entire set. A little scrap, a couple of wood beads, and a whisk broom make a beautiful scented ornament. But today, I'm going to be making this guy here on the left and this other one on the right. We're going to need two shower curtain rings, any mop. I found these in June at my Dollar Tree mitten and sock set. I'm going to be using the stars and pom-poms from the Dollar Tree as well. Not from the Dollar Tree are some wood rounds or wood beads. You can use paper mache, felted wood balls, anything you've got. I'm going to be using a hot glue glue gun and some scissors so you can choose either the natural colored mop or the white one just if you like the americana look or a more modern look you're going to cut off a few strings for this one we're going to need five all right so i'm just going to open this package grab out two of these and then to get started is super easy we're going to make sure they're closed okay so we want them to be clicked together I'm going to split my cotton rope strands so that I have two sets from each single strand. So each set is going to have two pieces to it. We're going to line up the bottoms, take the loop and stick it under our ring and put the ends through it. Easy, right? You've just done macrame. Super quick, super simple, and it's fun. Honestly, this is a craft you can do while listening to an audiobook. You know I love my Audible, um, but you can also do it while watching TV. This is also a good one to do with the grandkids if you operate that glue gun. All right, so once I had about five or six on there, I'm going to sort of scrunch them together, make sure everything is tight, and then I'm going to glue this thing permanently closed because we don't need it open. We might as well stick it in place. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one because we're making two in very similar ways. All right, so then I just kept going. I put a total of 10 on mine. You can go all the way up to 12. Just depends on the next part here. Well, once I have them all pulled down, making sure everything is tight. Look at that. It's going to be our little beard. I know that was hard to guess. We're going to set that aside for a hot second and move on to our mittens. So I did this with both the mittens and the socks because some people can't find their mittens. Uh, here you go. If you can find it, we're going to cut off that thumb, but keep it for later. And then because we've turned it inside out, we're going to go ahead and try to hot glue gun right on the edge here. Make sure that is solid. Now, right above where we hot glued, you're going to cut it across. So you don't have to do this, but I will say on something as simple as an ornament, cutting it down like this is super simple. Now you can put this in the middle or you can put this on the side. So I'm gonna put this uh, like little thing to the side. Okay, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. We hot glue that closed as well. And now you can accent any of this. You can make a pom-pom if you want. You can add trim using yarn or extra pieces of the rope, which I showed you, but I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna tuck it under here so that's how it would look if you just left it to the side again you can pull it to the back and you know make it a cone hat but i'm going to take one of these dollar tree pom-poms and yeah i'm going to hot glue it right to the end here is this simple or what i love this craft i made two of these in no time at all all right so this part easy peasy just make sure you've got this sides pulled down underneath that first knot so you can't see anything, but you're low enough to put a nose on. So speaking of nose, I am using a three quarter wood round, but before I put that on, I wanna make sure one of the sides is down. So I'm just hot gluing that down. Then I'm gonna add hot glue and the nose right to the plastic part that we covered with the knots. There you go. For those of you who are wondering, this is a Surebonder Detail Tip glue gun. I love it, it's my favorite. I use a, a varying, sizes of glue guns, but I do love this one. And I'm just gonna glue down the other side and glue the center of my hat to my nose. Look at that. And then I am going to pull down the side of the hat right here by gluing it down. You're almost done. You're almost done. 
All right, now we're gonna move to the back. So here's the front. I'm going to grab a piece of twine, cut off the frayed end, and put it into a darning needle. Now this, you don't have to use twine, you can use the uh, yarn from the Dollar Tree, you can use anything you have on hand. But basically, you're not gonna poke through to the front, you're gonna go through the back, leaving that front away, and then you're going to come on the other side of the ring. That's gonna give you the most stability and it won't fall off, right? It won't rip through the fabric. Cut that off and give it a tizzy tie. And then look at him hanging. He's just chilling. He's ready for a package or the tree after you give him a nice little trimmy trim. You don't have to give him a trimmy trim, but uh, I did. I know it makes a little bit of a mess, but it's easy to clean up. Just go and it blows right off your desk. All right, so we're gonna set him aside and move on. For the other guy, I started out exactly the same, this guy here, but you see his beard is a little less full. That's because instead of using two strands, I used one strand and went the same distance around the ring, okay? And you can choose to brush it out. I will show you what it looks like when you brush it out. Look at that, it doesn't look a whole lot different, so I would skip it. All right, so move off all those little pieces, blow them off your table. And for this one, I just gathered a few together, lined them up in the center, and tied them together for a mustache. That's it. That's it. Super simple, super easy. Make sure you glue that thing in place. When you use them as ties, I will tell you, sometimes you rip them in half, so if you want, use a piece of yarn or anything. But just make sure you glue it right here to the plastic part. Again, we're going to make sure that this stuff is on there, right? So you're gonna glue down that mustache and then glue the nose right above it, again, to that plastic. And then what I did on the other one, same thing, just make sure those don't move with a little hot glue on either side before you move on to your sock. Right below the heel, you're gonna cut it up at an angle and just get that bottom portion. That's all we need for this. And don't worry, we're gonna use the other parts for other crafts. But for this, you can just um, leave it as is, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hem the bottom. I am going to be putting that in the back, but let me show you here. We're just gonna turn it right sides, no, wrong sides out. And then I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to just hot glue hem this all the way around. Now, I will tell you that the Dollar Tree socks, here's a shocker. They're not the best quality <laughs> fuzzy sock, so they will fray if you do not choose to give it a hem. So that's why I choose to give it a hem all the way around, even that little heel piece in the back. Once you have that, we can go ahead and turn it the other way, which is the right side out. You can see here, I'm going to put the heel part at the back. Now you can add a little star, you can add a pom-pom, you can make a pom-pom, whatever you want to do. But I'm gonna tell you, go ahead and put the same twine or ribbon or yarn right through the top of it, no less than half an inch because we do, you know, we are gonna hang this from something and we don't want it to come undone. All right, so now that we have that cut, we can finish off the rest of the top. You can just scrunch it up like this and tie it with a piece of string or twine, or you can stuff it. I'm going to be using one of these Dollar Tree pom-poms because yeah, they're right on my desk and I'm lazy. But you can also stuff it with some polyfill, which is also on my desk. Uh, and remember that little piece we cut off? You can use that. Um, you can use the tip of a, you know, mitten, a toe, you know, like of a sock, anything you've got. You can just add a little bit of bulk. You don't have to get the polyfill. But I'm just gonna stick that in there and then I'm gonna tuck it all the way into the top. And that way I have a nice little like poofy top that will not undo, you know, like it will not flatten. So then I'm just gonna tie that with some twine and make sure I have a little bit of hang off. Add a little glue to the back of my wooden star. There you go. And glue it on. There you go. Easy peasy, right? All right, so now we're going to give him a little trim just like we gave to the other guy. Again, not necessary, but I like to make a mess. And then I'm going to attach my sock hat on either side and then in the center of his little nose and then also on either side of the nose. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. Again, if we can put it on the shower curtain, that's the best place for it because it will be there forever. So that's what we do here. And then in the back, I'm just going to make sure I glue down that entire thing, lining it up with the back of the shower curtain ring. Tie him into a little knot for his hanger. And here are both of my two little guys. 
super easy, super simple. What do you think? They're very differently sized, but using the same materials. Let me know in the comment section if you like this, if this was fun, super quick craft. I loved doing it. As always, thanks for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe for more crafty fun.